What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Legendary E, and we are back here for another episode of the Orlando Magic My GM series. And if you guys missed the last one, we actually take on Ja Morant and the Phoenix Suns. So I make sure you go to link that in the description below as well as in the top right hand corner. So today we're gonna be taking on the New Look Celtics. So if you guys enjoyed this, make sure you go and smash that like button. Let's get 160 likes for another episode. You guys have been showing so much love. I really, really do appreciate it. And the reason I'm saying the New Look Celtics. It's because a uh, new roster is pretty much there. The, the lineup is Jared Culver, who they low key took. We try to, you know, like trade for him during the draft. They weren't really feeling that, but they got Bull Bull, all that. It's Culver, Brown, Tatum, Morris, and Al Horford. For some reason, they have put Bull Bull in the G League. He's their highest rated power forward. I don't know what they're doing, but this should be a pretty good match. But I think that we got them in most positions. Uh, Bomba should be able to handle Al Horford. Fultz should be able to handle, handle Culver. And I mean Zion over Morris any day of the week. Now, we are going to be rocking with a throwback, so don't kill me in the comment section below. But let's get straight into this match because, I mean, they don't got Kyrie no more. This is Logan going to be a fair matchup, so let's get it. Welcome, everyone. Let's get ready for some NBA basketball on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony, Chris Weber, Hall of Fame sideline reporter is David Aldridge, and we're happy to have with us one of the great two-way players in the history of the game, Kevin Garnett. KG, welcome. Man, thank you. How's that headset feel? Man, feel pretty good. Man, huh? this is. Huh? I, I, hey, <laughs> I never knew. I never knew, Kev. This, I know. It's a great I fit, bro. Yeah, it's not too bad, is, <laughs> is this look, mine? Yeah, it's yours, and you look good in it. <laughs> thank you, bro. Last outing for Orlando, the loss to the Indiana Pacers. And that does your confidence, guys, no favor. They got manhandled in that one. It wasn't pretty. Tough Boys, night. I mean, they attacked on both. So getting straight into the gameplay, as I always say, I really do hope you guys have been enjoying this series. And just let me know which matchups you guys actually want to see next. I think the next game I am going to be showing is against the Philadelphia 76ers. But the episode after that, we're getting closer and closer to the trade deadline. So that probably will be a trade episode. I mean, Evan Fournier has been cool. We might even mess around and make the playoffs this season or be like right outside of it. Oh, that, that foul was weird. But regardless, yeah, as far as Fournier goes, he's somebody who can help a contending team win. So... I might be trading that man away in a few episodes or so. So give me some suggestions, man. Which teams will be interested in him? Uh, of course, Golden State will, but I'm not really in the mood to be helping them that much. Maybe the Lakers. Um, you know, maybe the 76ers, but I don't want to send him somewhere east. I mean, just, just give me some options in the comment section below. But here's Foles with the Rock. We're down 7-2. Here's Mo Bamba. I'm telling you, he's going to have to go off against Al Horford. I mean, he has the athleticism factor, and Horford really just can't guard that man. L let's be honest now. He, he really can't. Here's Foles back again. We're going to go ahead and find Jonathan Isaac. Isaac knocks down a three, which he almost never does, and we tie up the game 7-7. 9-11, we're down. Here's Foles. He's passing the up to Bamba, and he catches a body. Like, bro, he, he caught a body. Look at Al, dude. All right, this is where I got to throw on the replay. Look at Al Horford's face as he is getting dunked on. Bruh. Bruh. Just go ahead and retire. Look. Go ahead. Look at that. <laughs> that is mad embarrassing. So here's Culver with the rock. I, man, the only reason why I've been wanting him is because it's see, somebody that we never get. But uh, enough of that. I really like our team. I like that we got everybody who has potential to be stars in the lineup. I'm not sure about Jonathan Isaac, but he is... He's low-key our utility player that we just used for some defense. That's literally all that we really use him for. So if, if he can just do that consistently, there ain't going to be no kind of problems coming from me. So Cobra does go ahead and 80 knocks down that three. Come on. All we got to do is play good defense, and we should have won this game. I mean, okay. Come on, you guys. <laughs> We're down by 12. Let's not take an L here. Rondo to Hero. Hero, actually, he was decent in the second half of this game. He goes for the drive. He misses that. Go back up with Zion. Nobody's really stopping that. I mean, who even would want to jump at that point? Here's Culver. He loses the rock. Let's see what we got, man. You guys already know I'm I'm, I'm trying to find Zion as much as possible and get that easy <laughs> take to the right. I mean, no one's stopping it, and that's why we got to keep on abusing that man. Hopefully, he don't he doesn't end up like all of the magic other young stars and, and just leave. But we do hit Rondo up for that throw. He knocks that thing down. We're back. We're down by two. 
We're down by two. We, we can definitely win this game. I mean, they're still a solid team. I think they are at the top of the East. We leave Cover open. At least he missed that shot, but they are still at the top of the East, even without Kyrie. So, I mean, this is still a really, really good team. I, I like the position that we are actually in because Dallas's pick, they would definitely trade that pick away because they would expect it to be a late first-round pick. They've been garbage. They've been straight trash this season. But here's Jonathan Isaac. Quick little buzzer beater heading into the half. And we take that 60-55 lead. That's what I'm talking about, man. That's what I'm talking about. Now, going into halftime, as far as the report goes, Zion got 29-3. For them, Morris got 9-7-4. So we're doing really, really well. Zion is putting the team on his back and is carrying us. If we can just keep all this momentum, we're going to win this game. But as I've seen before, yeah, Dallas's pick right now is projected to be like number one or number two, maybe even number three. Regardless, it's somewhere in that top three. And I really hope that we get it because if we get their pick and we get our pick, which is going to be pop, which, which will be a lottery pick, we, we can package that together and get a star player. That's what I'm going for. And that is clearly what I'm going for. I think with the way that this team is developing, like Fultz is getting better every single game. Zion is a beast. Mo, Mo Bama is playing great. Porter is playing great. And, and Isaac is, is just establishing himself as like a role player who plays really good defense. I think that we could attract a free agent. I mean, it's not like we're in Cleveland or something. Like we actually got a, a decent city. And if we got assets, we either draft somebody like, um, what's that small forward? I think it's like Anthony or Jaden McDaniels or something. Either we can draft him with, with that top three pick. And trade away our six pick and get a perennial and get a perennial all star. So we got a bunch of options. Let me know what you guys think that we should do as we find Porter from Zion. But all I'm saying is, I expected this to be a difficult rebuild. We ended up getting the number one overall pick, drafting Zion, getting a steal with Porter, and we are and we already had folks in, in Bamba. If we can get those assets, we're gonna be really, really good, really, really fast, and actually. Bring a championship to Orlando, and that's why Ivan did this. So we do leave Hayward open. He knocks down that three. Good for him, man. But at this point, we're up by almost 20 points. So I don't know why he's trying so hard. But at this point, we are starting to stat pad just a little bit. Come on. I'm not really worried about anybody because, like I said, we got a pretty strong lead. Pretty strong lead. Nice rebound. Let's go ahead and push the rock with Fultz. Quick ISO. Let's see what we got. Let's go up. It's too easy. It's really, it's really that easy. Come on. Send me that screen, Zion. I already know we're going to... Okay. I, I wanted him to cut to the basket so I could throw the oop. But we'll just give it off to Bomba. He can just yam on, on out hole for the entire game. That's just as fine. As long as I get the assist. As long as I get the assist, you guys. But, yo, just let me know what you guys want to see on this series. I do want to make it as fun as possible. I, I still want to keep it realistic, but also interesting as well. So, that's where the whole Fournier trade comes in handy. Um, we're not winning. So, at, at this point, the only reason why I sign players like Rondo is just for his badges and stuff. But, Fournier is a really good player. We just don't need that, man. Like, we just don't need him. And we're letting a few other guys develop in the G League. So, look. We're looking really, really good for the future. Like, we already got a, a future backup power forward and small forward. And Jonathan Isaac, if we, if we move him to the bench. And Justin Jackson as well. And I think Elia Kobo is also there. So, we're, we're looking really, really good. Now, they do make this little late game run. But, of course, it's, it's a little too late. <laughs> I mean, we walk out of here with the dove. Come on. Let's just... Come on. Can we get a steal or at least get a stop? Or yeah, he, he gonna keep trying. He gonna keep trying. All right, Culver, that's nice. But of course, in the end, you guys to go ahead and take that L. So it really means nothing. I mean, we we try three with bomb, but it's not gonna fall. But we walk away with a W, ten points, one hundred and sixteen to one hundred and six, and we beat the Celtics. And the worst part about this, they are a way higher seed. <laughs> so. Yeah, that says a lot about what this team can actually become. I think that we're going to be able to win a championship in about two seasons. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section below. Heading over to the stats, Culver, he had 18 points, three rebounds, three assists, two steals. He shot 50% from the field. Horrible from, from the three, though. Tatum, he was just jacking up shots. Brown, he was all right. He shot 50% from the field. Okay, so for them, their guys did all right. What about our team? Zion, how many points did Zion put up? He had at least had like 30, right? 28, 
17, 6, 2 steals. Efficient. Bomb with 23 and 19. I was trying to get another 2020 game. Fultz with 17 and 11. Porter with 17. Regardless, let me know what you guys think about this. Make sure you go and smash the like button. And of course, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. We, we got the victory. So who should we take on next? But other than that, I'm out. Peace, y'all.